Hey guys, welcome, and you probably clicked on my video to find out what was going on with all my hair. Maybe in the thumbnail intrigued you, but basically you came to this video to find out how to properly comb a bird's nest out of your hair. And when I mean a bird's nest, I mean this, something like this. See it? It's a mess. I, I don't think the camera can catch all of the knots because it's really um, fine and knotted in there. But anyways, I'm going to show you and explain to you why I let my hair be knotted for so long. I'm going to show you how to properly comb all of those knots out and it doesn't have to be that big. Um, mine tends to happen, sleep on a pillow, I just rub back and forth, you know, throughout the night. But I actually, chose not to brush my hair for a few days just so I could do this video because I have been wanting to teach others just my method and because I get asked a lot about like how I maintain my hair. I have been just putting it with the bun just so I could get out there because I was like, I'm gonna do this video. So you basically need something like this, a detangler. You can find this at Walmart, Amazon, whatnot. But when I was younger, it used to be a detangler bottle. I think it was white and had a little girl on it. But this is a kid's detangling spray. Or if you don't have that, you could just get, you could also get a spray bottle and put water in it, um, just warm water. Or also you could take a leave-in conditioner. I don't use those, but maybe uh, squirt it in a bottle and mix it with some water. And if you know you're about to take a shower, you know, you can rinse that off, so. But yeah, any kind of liquid that will kind of moisturize or make it slippery. So the method that I've always used was taught to me by my friend's mom. I would visit her during the summers. It was really fun. I loved being around her. She was Swedish. She was like a second mom to me. But one day she saw me just going at my hair. Just <laughs> It sounded really bad. And you could hear my hair snapping and she was like, let me teach you how I comb my daughter's hair and how to get the knots out and not be frustrated. I wasn't allowed to cut it at the time. So it was pretty long and everybody loved it. I hated it. <laughs> but now here we are some years later and my hair is just long by choice now. So what we're gonna do is we are going to split our hair and be careful because you might have knots back there that you don't want to like hold on too much so basically I split my hair and normally if your knot is not this not this not this bad you would just start and work your way from the bottom instead of the top because once you do that you'll hit a resistance it's like a stock talk okay but you'll hit it there and then you'll want to like mm, pull it out but I mean some people I'm sure this might be common sense but other people you know like me I wasn't really taught how to brush my hair properly I didn't care as long as I just you know got through the day and was able to go and head out and not worry about it anymore but since for the purpose of this video I knotted my hair on purpose meaning I just slept on it and let it just go about whatever it wanted to do and it kind of for a while it kind of <laughs> looked like a little dreadlock here normally i would just split my hair start on a small section at the bottom just gently and what you need is time time and patience so this can't be done right when you're headed out the door and you're in a rush and your hair needs to be done you know, whether it's for work or whatnot, or errands. And this method will help you avoid tears with your daughters or anybody that has long hair that you're trying to um, comb out for them and they need help. Basically, you need a comb like this or a wide tooth comb. This kind of brush will not work because it'll get tangled in there, you'll get frustrated, you won't be able to split it properly the way I'm going to show you and you need, you need the tangler or just a simple spray bottle that you can buy at the store or on Amazon and if I have any links for the products I'll list it down there 
And if you have the urge to just tug on it, just try to be patient. And have a trash can handy because you're gonna have hair that will fall. And see, I already hear some kind of tugging on there. So I'll just gently spray it. Just kind of rub it in there. And here, I, I feel a resistance. So when it kind of looks like that, how it's like, see how it's kind of twisted together? Just kind of want to pull on it gently, just separate it. And depending on your hair length, your hair type, and your time, um, I don't know how long this will take you, but since I made my hair seriously knotted, it's gonna take me some time. So, on my phone, it says it is 11.52, so I'll just put a timer on or a stopwatch. And here at the bottom, you don't wanna cause split ends if that's not, and it's best to comb your hair before you get in the shower. That way um, you don't clog up all that hair in your drain. And your hair, they say, is strongest when it's dry. So after you shower and you comb it, it's kind of weak. So that also causes split ends, they say. So I usually will brush my hair or comb my hair before I jump in the shower. And also you kind of just want to gently tug, oops, mirror effect, <laughs> tug the ends. That way you pick up any hair that was missed. Okay, so this section is done. And I would probably save the knot last. I would probably just go with the rest of the hair that I know are going to be easy to comb through. I feel resistance and not in here. So I'll just spray that and just be liberal if you want with it or just enough to coat it. Just start at the bottom in sections. Lots of hair there. And another tip, I typically brush my hair once a day. And I do that because I could literally go for days like I did and be able with confidence to get this knot out. Usually, like I said, I brush it once a day. And also they say brushing it too often, especially if you start from the roots area, will bring down a lot more oil and weigh down your hair. And also I'm just a busy mom, so I just brush it and then I'm on the go. And I usually just comb it, I put in a bun or a ponytail, just depending on my mood. And that's how my hair does really stay shiny and long. And I wish I could style it. I am thinking of cutting it. After every baby, I usually kind of chop it off. But I'm still undecided. So I may chop it off, donate it, or perhaps even sell it. I've always donated my hair but it would be kind of interesting to see the process of selling what I guess what you would call my hair, virgin hair, because I haven't colored it in years. I haven't treated it in any way for many years. I've just let it grow. But okay, so like I said, I'm gonna skip the big knot and get the rest. Now I feel a tug here and you just take your time. I was never taught this. My mom, she kind of brushed her hair. Her hair was finer than mine, so I could tell hers was getting split ends, or she was just too impatient. <laughs> and I was like, so I learned this technique, I think when I was eight. So it's been many years. <laughs> okay, and then I kind of, I can feel the resistance under here. So what I'll do is kind of just flip it and spray that area. Also, I don't blow dry my hair. I like to take a shower either during the day or at night. And also, the best place to comb your hair would be outside, not in your bathroom like I'm doing. But right now, it's cold. So in the summer, I'll 
stand out there on my porch or in on on our patio and I'll just be out there brushing my hair because I don't have to clean it up and it's not going to get all over the floor and you don't have to sweep it. And I would not advise you guys taking your hair and putting it in the toilet to flush it down. Um, my mom did that and I always thought that it might just clog the toilet. So it's probably just better for your septic tank system to have no hair. But I don't know. Where do you guys toss your hair out? <laughs> the toilet, the trash can. And here's another little knot that I'm feeling right there. So I'll just coat that. Feel it. Feel it. So I'll just split it gently. And there you go. I know I'm getting my hair wet, but it's not, it should be okay since it's not soaked in water while you're showering. It's just kind of coating it a little bit, but it still um, has some strength in there. So for this size kind of knot and this type of knot, I would just spray some detangler and just let it settle for a little bit. So now I'm going to work on this side. And I already feel like a little bit of a knot here. And then also you could split your hair again to work on it. And if you want, you can, you can tie up the hair that you've already brushed. That way it doesn't get mixed with the portion of the hair that you haven't combed yet. Oops, gotta be gentle. I heard that. <laughs> I heard my hair split. See a little bit of a knot going on there? I'm just gonna take that section. Like I said, it's best to comb this over a trash can, but I just wanted to show you here since the trash is a little bit further away. You just work gently at the bottom. And I kinda, well my hair is long enough so I put it in front of me so I can see. And then I kind of just clean up anywhere that the hair falls off because I don't like seeing all that hair everywhere. I see some resistant knot here. So I'm gonna work on that. That way it entangles at the bottom part. So that way I can continue to comb it on through. And then if it's too knotted, you just kind of split it and that Part of doing that actually helps ease and remove the tangled sections. It frees it up. See, this one's resisting. So I'll just kind of split it up gently. Like I said, patience. No need to like tug at it and hear the breaking of your hair. So if the knot's too big to handle, just Spread it gently, pull it, and you know, split up the knot like this. And it just kind of magically unknots. <laughs> oh, I heard it snapping there. Sometimes that does happen because there might be a couple of pieces of hair that are just kind of tied together or stuck together and you don't realize it. And this is why you want to use tooth comb like this versus a regular brush like this because it doesn't it's going to be harder I think to like you know concentrate on one section of the hair because you have all those bristles that are getting at the hair so I feel resistance here so we've got this section done without causing breakage there's a small section. I'm going to split this since it's like tugging. And there's another spot. Oops. And your arm might get tired if your hair, if you have this much hair. And sometimes you have tangled up hair. 
that's already come off your head already <laughs> and it's just blended in there. So you didn't break it, it was just already um, twisted in part of the, the knots. Oops. So we've got another section done without breakage. And then this part I think is pretty, doesn't have that much. Okay, that one's done. And have a little knot here, not twisty stuff. Ooh, cold. I'm gonna let that one settle with the spray and work on this one. Okay, so now we just have these two. <laughs> I'm gonna work on this one since it's smaller for now. But the same technique applies. So I'm going to start at the bottom. So that way this area is free from knots. And if you're having resistance, again, just kind of gently split it up. Oh, is that my stomach? Yes, I'm hungry. <laughs> and here we go. Okay. And if it's been in a knot for a while, it may not feel as silky or smooth, but that's because it's just been locked in that place with the knot. Like, you know, it wasn't straight or however your hair texture is, so it might feel a little frizzy. So we got this side done. And as you comb through, you'll get more hair coming off. Might be hair that you didn't catch the first time or just that hair that's also gonna come off when you comb through a few times. Okay, the dreaded part. It's not so dreadful when you've experienced this before. Not kind of dry. Okay. Same concept. Start at the bottom, gentle, so you don't get split ends. And any resistance, spray if you need to, and just kind of tug down to release it from the knot center and it just disappears. So I recently had a baby and a lot of people asked me if I lose or if I shed a lot of my hair when I got pregnant or after. Honestly, when I get pregnant, my hair grows a little bit faster or longer, but I've, I've never really had it shed or come in parts and in, in bulk, or maybe it does and I just don't notice it because the way I comb my hair, I just pull out any dead hair that's mixed in there. So no tugging, no crying, no frustrations for yourself even, <laughs> or your daughter or whoever has long hair in your family. You can always share this tip with them. So split the hair and then work in sections and even split the, the um, knots that you come across strand by strand. And that'll avoid a lot of split ends and keep your hair nice, healthy looking, and shiny. Like this, it's too big of a, it's too tangled. So what I'll do is kind of comb through a little bit and see if I can free some hair. I told you this one has been knotted for a while. And this one's gonna be the one that needs the most patience of them all because of what I did or did not do, which is 
not brush my hair, comb my hair. So if you get frustrated with one section and you can't figure it out, you're tired, take a break or just work on another section. I mean, I could pause the video and fast forward to when I get it all done and fixed, but I wanted you guys to see the full method of this hair knot debacle. So patience. So what I'm doing is trying to look for a spot where I can split the knots without breakage. So I'll kind of pull down on the hair to separate it from a certain knot. And this seems to be the main knot center that's causing the issue and tying up everything together. So I'm going to work on this one. So do you guys think you would have patience to do this? Ouch. Got tugged on. That kind of hurt. So here's a clump of hair that is just attached to the knot, but it's already just um, loose hair. So what I do, I just kind of pull any of the hair that's still attached to it. And there you go. Okay. And that, I mean, that was the main knot. That was the knot. And so it was what was holding all that hair together. Now you can continue on. So now we just have a little section left that has some knotting in it. Just this small section now. So again, start at the bottom gently. Oops. Got caught in my comb. I'm on strand up here. But luckily I didn't break it. And we are almost there, guys. I think we got it. <laughs> so I will warn you, if you have a big knot and you're constantly kind of like tugging at your skin back there, it might feel a little sore. Just be gentle. Okay, we don't have it yet. We're getting there. I don't want to get too excited and, ac and accidentally um, rip any of the hair out. Here's the after, guys. All right. And then one final comb through. So not. So per my timer, it took about 57 minutes. Um, it wouldn't take me that long, honestly, only because for this experiment, my hair was really knotted on purpose. And I usually comb my hair about once a day, like I said. Or if I'm about to take a shower that day, I'll brush it right before I get in the shower, gently. Brush, um, I, I, when I say brush, I mean comb. Okay, get an extra hair. And this is what it looks like. All brushed and normal looking <laughs> and not having a bird's nest. I don't know if you guys have heard of that expression, a bird's nest in your hair. It's what I grew up around. So this is what it looks like now. See? Not bad. I look normal. <laughs> So I'll turn around so you guys can kind of see how much nicer it looks. Here, I'll stand on my tippy toes. So in summary, when you want to comb your hair and make sure that 
you lessen any breakage or split ends, just split it in half. Work from the bottom with your spray if there's any knots. Um, and then also, you can also split it um, again and take any knots, split that gently too, tug at it, that way it doesn't, it's not tied up to each other. And just take your time, you just need patience and time. Um, I wouldn't typically expect you to be having your hair in a big knot unless you just didn't brush it like I did for a few days just for this video. So if you guys found this helpful, go ahead and comment. That way I can kind of gauge if this was even helpful. Just wanted to teach you guys in case there's just some people that have never been taught how to properly comb their hair without causing issues or how to get major knots out of your hair or your daughter's hair or your son's hair with very long hair. I have a little boy, he used to have really long hair but um, we've trimmed it now. Sometimes he would get knots and I would take it out for him with the same method. Hopefully I will be uploading another random mama video because uh, this channel is basically just for me to share everything and anything that I'm inspired by or just wanted to share. Um, it's not one of those niche or niche channels where I know they say you should concentrate on one type of video, but honestly this video is, um, this video, this channel is just for me to share something and I'm a boy mom so I wanted to share something about hair with uh, fellow moms that may have girls or that's helpful for their own hair. So, you guys have a good day.